and the angles do not because we're not changing the shape. Okay, if I was changing from a triangle to a square or something, the angles would be changing, but we're not. Okay. So when we multiplied each coordinate of a shape by the same constant, we saw that sometimes the shape became smaller and sometimes it became bigger. In this chapter, we moved the shapes on the graph without changing their size. We rotated and reflected and translated them without changing their size or shape. In what other ways can you change the shape? So that's our big thought. So we're gonna work together and make predictions about what you could do with the coordinates of a shape, this shape here, so it may look stretched or squished, okay? What actions will keep the shape the same? What predictions can we make, okay? So first things first, why do I see that some of you switched your cameras up? You know better. Okay, so first thing, we're gonna go look at what do you think will change if both the X and Y for points P, Q, R, S are multiplied by the same number like four? Okay, what did we learn on Tuesday? If I multiply the X and the Y by the same number, what's gonna happen to my shape? If I multiply both the X and the Y by the same number, what's gonna happen? Am I gonna change what the shape looks like? How am I gonna change what the shape looks like? What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? What happened on Tuesday when we multiplied the X and the Y by a whole number? Did it get smaller? Did it get bigger? Did it change what the shape looked like? Make the shape squished or stretched or anything? We multiplied X and Y. Okay, so when we're multiplying X and Y by the same number, are we changing the basic shape? Or are we just changing that shape's size? If we multiply X and Y by the same number, are we changing the basic shape? Or are we just changing how big or small that shape is? So on Tuesday, we're just changing how big or small the number is. So we have to use the words they gave us from the question to answer this. So I think, because it asked you, what do we think? If I change both the X and y coordinates, I'm just using the words from the question, of points P, Q, R, and S, that the shape will do what? Will it change the basic shape or just make it bigger and smaller? Okay. It will make the shape the same, but bigger. Now, bigger, why was it bigger? What kind of numbers got us bigger? What kind of numbers got us smaller? 
by using what kind of numbers made us bigger? Fractions or whole numbers? Okay, by using whole numbers, actually by using numbers bigger than one, right? Because one is a whole number and it's not gonna. And smaller by using numbers smaller than one, right? It got bigger because we use numbers bigger than one. It got smaller because we use numbers smaller than one. Because one changes nothing. One times doesn't change anything. Okay. What do you think we will, will happen to our shape if we only multiply the x direction? So let's look. We're going to go do the math. I'm going to take my coordinates and I'm going to do what they told me. I'm going to multiply just the x by 3. So my first coordinate since it has to be blue because we're making a right an image. Images are blue. My first coordinate p, right? So p is at 0 I'm changing it. What they say to do? What's the instructions say to do? No, I'm on the second one right here. That's not the number four. No, oh, multiply what by four? All of it by four? Look what the instructions said to do. What piece is multiplying by three? Just the X. Okay, so my X is zero times, times, too many, three but the Y is not changing. They told us just the X. So what new coordinate is this gonna be? What's that coordinate gonna say? Zero times three is what? Come on. What are we gonna get? What's zero times three? Zero. So did this coordinate move? No, because our x was zero. Okay, we've got to go to q now. So I'm going to copy this over. I'm going to paste it. I can move it with this little x thing, right? Making more space. I'm going to look at q. Okay, what are q's numbers? What's Q's coordinate? Six, seven. Okay, so if we do the same thing to Q that we just did to P, the six has to multiply by three, the seven has to stay the same. What's the new location? The six has to multiply by three, the seven has to stay the same. So what's our new location? Yep, 18, seven. Okay, now we have to go do R. What's R's coordinate? <clears throat> what's R's coordinate? Four, zero, okay. The four has to multiply by three, but the zero has to stay the same. So what's my new coordinate? Well, zero. Okay, so let's, is coordinate S gonna change at all? 
What is coordinate S? We'll put it in here that S is at what coordinate? Zero, zero. Is that going to change at all? No. So I'm going to just leave them saying S is zero, zero. So let's go look how that happened on our graph. Okay. So we're at blue dot. P stayed the same. S stayed the same, right? But Q and R did not. R became 12, zero over here. Oops, I forgot to reset it to here. 12, zero. And Q became 18, seven, right? And seven's here. This is 10, that's 15. So 18's like way up here, isn't it? 18's even past our graph. If I connect those with their lines, back to my original P because it did not change. New Q, new R. What happened to the shape? My Q was at 18.7 and my R is at 12.0, right? Is it still the same shape? Is that still the same shape as we started? It's just bigger? No, it's not. So what happens when we multiply only the X? I think, what did we, what did we see happen? I saw that only the X coordinate moved. So the shape, oops, changed. It's not the same shape anymore. It's not a bigger version or a smaller version. It's something different. Making a different shape. Okay, we made a different shape altogether. Right? So, we're going to repeat what we did, but they want us to do what? What's our next one say? What do they want us doing this time? What do the instructions say to do this time? Change the Y coordinate, not the X. So the X is going to stay the same. And the Y is the one that's multiplying. What are we multiplying by? Times two, okay. So I'm gonna go multiply by two. Now, X stayed the same, Y got multiplied by two. So what's the new location for Y? What's the new coordinate gonna be? It's not going to be zero or two anymore. It's going to be what? What's the new coordinate going to be? Zero four. Yes, thank you. Okay, we're going to go repeat the process for Q and for R. Do we ever need to do S? No, because multiplying doesn't change zero, zero, right? Okay, so let's go do Q. Q originally was six, seven. Oops. My six is staying the same. My seven is multiplying by two. What's my new location? My 
my six is staying the same. My seven is multiplying by two. Yeah, six, four, three. Okay, now let's go get R. Because S is at zero, zero, multiplying will never change that. So we don't have to worry about S. We just have to worry about the ones that aren't both zero, zero. R is at four, zero. The four stays the same. The zero multiplies by two. Right? What's my new coordinate going to be? What's zero times two? The four stayed the same. The zero ended up staying the same, right? And we still have our S that's zero, zero. Okay, so we're gonna go put those on there. I'm gonna put them on the graph in a different shade of blue so that I can tell the difference between one image and the other. So I'm actually gonna go more towards something like this blue. So I can see the difference between them, okay? So P is now at zero, four. So P now moved here, right? Q is now at six, 14. So there's six. There's six, there's 14, roughly, because sometimes it's hard, because this one doesn't have the grid lines to make it easier. And then did R change? No, did R change? So let me put these labels on here. Did R change? No, so we can just connect. Let me put labels on one second. So R is still the same. So let's go click, click our link, doing this blue. P goes to the new Q. Q goes to the new R. Right? Do we still have the same shit? Gotta put our labels. This Q was at 614. Right? And this. P was at zero four. Okay. Are we still the same shape? But just big bigger or smaller than my original shape? You should be putting the tick mark, yes. So let me go put that in. Nice remembering, Lily. Since these are images, they should have the little one quote thing in the sky because they're showing we're an image. But we only have to worry about putting it on the ones that got changed. Thank you, Lily. But are we the same shape as we were before? No. Which, which way, so when we change the X coordinate, we made a different shape. Was the shape fatter or skinnier? Let's put that in here. That was for when we just multiplied the X, did it make it fatter or skinnier? How about wider or taller, maybe, okay? It made it, yeah, it made it skinnier, made it 
our first one, if we multiplied the X, did, you know, because our original shape went from zero to four, right? Our new shape went from zero to 18. Is that making us wider or taller when we change the X? Wider. X's affect the Y, right? X's go left and right, they affect the Y. That was wider. So we're gonna add that into that one we just finished a second ago. So now we've gotta make our comments for this one. Okay, so now we're just affecting the Y coordinate. I'm going to take my comment from before because we notice again, it made a new shape, right? But we use the Y coordinate got changed this time. Now, looking at the second one, the lighter blue that I have, Did my shape get wider or just taller? And I figured out I made a mistake with Q. This should be 18 over here. This Q should be over here. I've got it in the wrong spot. Okay, so when we affect just the X, we made things wider. When we affect just the Y, we make things taller. I'm gonna have us double back and fix this. That should have been 18, seven. So it should have been way over here. I put this in the wrong spot, I apologize. I just noticed. This is not where 18, seven would be. 18, seven would be way over here. That was my mistake, I apologize. So that was 12, so it would have been 18, seven, something like that. That was on me, I apologize. But you guys didn't know this either. So this was our first one. It's now gonna be more obviously wider. Okay. Is that better noticing now? <laughs> Sorry. So if we just affect the X, it makes us wider. It makes us feel squished. If we just affect the Y, it makes us taller, so we feel stretched. But it's not the original shape anymore when you do just one direction. So we could not call these similar. The only way we can call them similar is when we change both X and Y by the same number at the same time, okay? So we are going to look now at what happens if we change the X by a number and the Y by the number. So now we're gonna be doing changing X and Y, but they're not gonna be changing by the same number. So let's see what that one does. We're gonna copy. Nope, what are you doing? And we're gonna paste it. So we are going to be changing X by one number and Y by a different number. X is changing by two, Y is changing by three. Okay, that's what they told us. Like two for the X and three for the Y. What would my new coordinate be? What would my new coordinate be? If I change my X by two and my Y by three, what would happen? What's my new coordinate gonna be? Multiply the X number of P by two and the Y number of P by three and we get zero six, thank you. Okay, we have to repeat the process for Q and R. Is S ever gonna change for this situation? Will S ever be different? 
No, because S is at zero, zero for this problem. So multiplying won't change anything, but we're looking at multiplication. So S is not gonna change, but Q and R are gonna change. So let's go get Q and let's go get R. And we're multiplying the X by two and the Y by three. And we're gonna plot those and we're gonna see what happens. So Q, where'd you go? Six, seven, right? Six, seven. So the six multiplies by two and the seven multiplies by three. And the new location is what? 12, 21. Okay, now we've got to do the R. R is starting at four zero. And we're multiplying the four by two and the zero by three. So what's the new location? Eight zero. Okay, and we're gonna go put those on there. Gotta get a third color blue though. Let's go see what blues we can get. I don't wanna go super light blue because those are hard to see. So let's see if we can get one that's that kind of blue. This is kind of a greenish blue. It'll work. <laughs> okay, so we gotta go put those on our graph. I need someone to know. We got P at zero six. Right? We've got Q at 1221. Now, 12 is here, right? 21 is gonna be way up here, right? I'm estimating. And then eight, zero. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy and paste the ones that are already out here and just change their numbers to the new ones. Copy this and say that it's a zero six, not a zero four. Copy the Q. It's way up here now at, in fact, I gotta move where he's at. He's gotta get onto the page. He won't stay there. There he goes, 12, 21. And our R moved to eight zero. The beauty of electronics, you can copy and paste and we're gonna connect them. Okay, so P, no, right idea, wrong tool. Try again. I have to go pick the same color. It was this one, right? We'll find out. Okay. So P connects to Q, new Q. Q connects to new R. <clears throat> does it still look like the same shape or does it look a little different? Did we stretch? Did we get taller? Did we get fatter? Did we get a mix of it? What well, looks like it's going on? It's definitely taller, right? Because it's way up here at 21. Did it also get fatter than the original? Wider than the original would be the more polite way to say it. Yeah, it's also it's taller and wider, but does it look exactly like the original, just bigger? Would you say that it's exactly like the original, just bigger? Or is there still a, or is it still a new shape? Look at it carefully. Remember we learned yesterday, to be exactly like the original, what did we have to do with the X and the Y? 
Can we multiply by different numbers and be exactly like the original? Can we multiply by different numbers and be exactly like the original? We said we did this on Tuesday. Can I multiply by something two different numbers and still have the same exact shape? No, it looks close. And the reason why it looks close is because two and three are close to each other, right? They're, they're not really drastically different numbers. If we done numbers that were significantly different than each other, like two and seven, you would super see that these are not actually the same shape. But because two and three are close to each other on the number line, this third one kind of looks like the original, but it's not the original, okay? Kind of looks like the original, but it's not the original, okay? So, we have to, the big thing is in order to stay the original, you have to multiply X and Y by the exact same numbers. Okay, to be exact like the original, the X and Y both have to multiply by exactly the same numbers. So we're gonna take our answer from here because it's changing again, right? Blue. You can do this. But it's not only the X. I saw that by changing both X and Y coordinate. Take off some part of it, right? The shape oops, changed to something to a new shape that was both wider and taller. Okay. Um, X and Y coordinate by different numbers, okay? The point is that it's not that we multiplied X and Y, it's that we multiplied them by different numbers, okay? So we did create a new shape. Okay, we did create a new shape, but because they chose two and three, they were really close to each other. Okay, we're gonna test our predictions. Dilate each coordinate of shape PQR from the last problem so that each coordinate of Y is multiplied. Oh, X and Y, multiply each X and Y by four. Okay, so let's go get our math. So I'm gonna copy all three lines at the same time. Okay, and I'm gonna copy them and I'm gonna go down to where I wanna paste them because I wanna work smart, not hard. Uh, but then I pushed the wrong button. <laughs> I'm still learning. Both X and Y are changing, so I'm gonna pick this one. Copy. Paste. Move. So what are they telling us we're multiplying X and Y by? What does the question say? Multiply the X and Y by what? Uh, 
read the question. What's it say to multiply by? Read the question. What does it say to multiply X and Y by? Four. Okay, so we're changing the multiply the zero times four and the two times four. So what's my new coordinate going to be? for the P. What's the new coordinate? My new coordinate is at 808, thank you. So that's one of them. Now we have to do the same thing for the other corners. So let's go fix the other corners. So this one says 08, because zero times doesn't change anything. Q, P says Q is times four and times four. What's my new location? X and Y are both being multiplied by the same number. So what's my location? Uh, this one says six times four is 24, I agree. And seven times four is 28, okay? What about R? R is gonna become 16, zero. Do I need to worry about multiplying S? Why do I not care about multiplying S? Did S do something wrong? Why are we not multiplying S? Because it's, because it's at zero, zero, and zero multiplying doesn't change anything. But if S was two, four, I would have to do S as well, okay? It's not that we're missing S because S is not worthy. We're not doing S because zero times stuff doesn't change anything. Okay, so we're gonna go get our blue. We're gonna go put these on. I'm gonna start with my first. Uh, zero, eight. Boom. And 24, look, they made the graph big enough for us here. 24, 28. Oop, way, way up here, keep going. 25, 26, 27, I think that's it. Yep. I can't tell if it's on the 25 line. Oop, nope, that's on the 25 line. Right spot, one over. And then our R is at 16, zero. And I'm gonna go connect them with my line. I have to get the right shade of blue. Nope, that's not it. This is it. Let me put it there. So I have all three shades of blue available. Now I have them all ready. Okay, I want this one. And I'm connecting. Why did that start over there? See, technologies did it again. I'm going to fix it when I go to. I'm connecting all four points because it said to. And it said to pick a color other than black, which we did. We picked blue because I prefer images in blue. And then we're going to go get these coordinates that we already have made and put them in each of the corners, right? 
oops, this one down at this end. Copy, paste, put the letter P in front of it. Go with that. Okay. Q. Anybody confused about what's going on? Or are we okay? We're just copying and pasting our calculation, our letters. R. I, I'm going to put S on there, and S is going to stay the same. It doesn't get to be changing its letter. R. Go with white. And we'll put our S on the graph so it gets to be official. Right? All right. Is the shape the same, but bigger? Do we have the exact same shape, but it's just bigger? Or have we made it wider or taller? We're the exact same shape, but we're bigger because we multiplied both of them by the same number. Okay. So go back to the original shape, multiply the x by 3, leave the y the same. So we've got that work done already. We're going to come up here and get it. Multiply the x by 3, leave the y the same. So I'm going to go copy my work from right here, Oops. pick the right feature. This was the x times three only, right? Right? Okay, and we're gonna put it on here so that it shows better. That was our light blue. Oh, this became zero. That stayed at zero two. This one went to 18. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nope, try again. 18, seven. That's at 12, zero. So now we're gonna be able to see it really clearly because we're on an actual coordinate plane that fits. This is my teal one, no, this is my light one, okay? We're gonna super be able to tell that it's not the same shape anymore. Look, clearly wider, but not right. Okay, and we've got to get our coordinates. So I'm going to go back to here and I'm just going to grab the ones we already have and change them for the new ones. Because we're working smart with our cami, not hard. Right? I don't have to worry about S. This one was 18.7. And our R. Became 12, zero. And we could super see now, we can tell definitely that that became a wider from the original shape, not the original shape anymore. Yes? We can tell better. Do you agree that you can see it better that the just changing the X? Just makes it a wider shape, right? So we're gonna say it again. What happened just now? Our shape got how? The shape became what? 
What did we say the shape became? What did we say the shape became? We just drew a shape. What happened to the shape from the original? What did we say it became just now? Tell me what happened to the shape. When we multiplied the X only, what did the shape do? When we only multiplied the X, what did the shape do? No, it didn't get smaller because it's the same height. If anything, it's bigger, yeah? It got wider. Oh, okay. So the shape became wider because what caused it to be wider? Which one of our coordinates controls y? Which one of our coordinates controls y? The x does. We multiplied x coordinate to make it bigger and x coordinate controls how wide the shape is, right? Yes, true or false? Okay. So, so it is actually a bigger shape. If you look at it, there are more boxes inside it than this original, right? It's stretched wider. So it got bigger, but it didn't stay the same shape. It stretched wider, okay? All right, so look at the prediction of the team in problem 655. Do you still agree with your prediction? So what did we say up here it would do? That the X, I saw the that only the X coordinate moved, so the shape changed and it became wider. So our prediction was the same, right? Obviously. We were correct with our predictions from 6 55. Okay, then it says, what do you think will happen if the Y is changed? What do you think? Okay. So we're gonna summarize what happens. If I multiply both X and Y coordinate by, control, by the same number, the shape stays the same, but gets bigger or smaller, right? Should be a comment. If I multiply only X, right, 
coordinate. What did the shape do? If we only multiplied x, what did the shape do? Did the shape stay the same? The shape changed to something wider, right? And then what happened with the y's? If I only multiplied the y, what happened? If we only multiplied the y, what happened? Does the shape change if only y is multiplied? Does the shape change if only the y is multiplied? You tell me, did the shape change if only the y was multiplied? Look back at the one we did. 6-55, what did we say? If only the y was multiplied, did it change? Yeah, it got taller. So it changed to something taller. Right? Now, what if we multiply x and y, but not by the same number? If we multiply both x and y by different numbers, Does the shape stay the same? If we multiply x and y by different numbers, does the shape stay the same? So let's go back and look. We're looking at our teal one on this one, teal one. What did we say happened? Did our shape stay the same? No. So if we multiply the X and Y by different numbers, does the shape stay the same? No. Okay, so the shape changed, <clears throat> oops, typing, changed. <clears throat> but gets bigger or smaller. Okay, so it still gets bigger or smaller. It's just, it doesn't stay the same shape anymore. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Figures that are exactly the same, but different sizes, okay, are called similar figures, okay? Same shape, different sizes are called similar shapes. And what happens is they're parts that are in the same location are called corresponding. Okay, called corresponding. And um, they are a proportion to each other. So we are gonna go make a basic one. Go get shapes, go get rectangles. I want one to be red and one to be blue, okay? There's my red rectangle. There's my blue rectangle. 
right? If I said that the top of this rectangle, and I'm just coming up with numbers, we're making an example so we see connections. If I say the top of this rectangle is say 14, okay, and the side of this rectangle is 10, and the top of the blue one, so we gotta change it to blue, is seven and the side is five. Okay, this would be a similar figure because they are both rectangles. And if you notice, we are going to use lines of different colors now. This top line that I'm making pink matches with the top line of the other figure. I'm also making it pink. Because they're both the tops. The left side of the first rectangle. I know I should change it to line, but this works out okay too. Would match with the left side of the little rectangle. Okay, so that's why they're called corresponding. They're in the same locations. Mm -hmm. The bottom of the big rectangle would match with the bottom of the little rectangle. Corresponding. And I need a fourth one. Purple. And the right side of the big one is going to match with the right side of the little one. So where the pieces that are in the same spots are called corresponding. Okay. So parts of the shape in the same location, oops, are corresponding. Parts, okay, and will be proportional with each other. And I'm going to show that. So let's look at. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna set it up so it's big, which was my original, right? That was my red one. Over small, that was my image. No, backwards, small over big. It's always image first. It's image over original. That's always how we calculate their proportionality. Okay. So what was the value of the image on the top? What was the value of our image on the top? So what was the top of the blue one originally? It's now a purple, but what was its value when it was blue? What did we say the top of the small shape? That was our image, right? That's the blue numbers. What's the blue top say? What number? Look on the picture. What number is on the blue top? What number's on the blue top? Okay. 
Come on, guys, just look at the picture. What number is on the top and is the color blue? Seven. What number is on the top but is the color red? If I simplify this fraction, what can both of these divide by? What's the same number I can divide both levels by? Seven. So this fraction simplifies to what simpler fraction? Figure out the top, put it over the bottom. What would it be? Seven divided by seven makes what number? One, and then over two, half. So we're gonna do the same thing for the left side, okay? We're gonna do the same thing for the left side. We're gonna show that they're proportional. They're the same fraction or whole number. We are still doing image over original. That's always how you calculate their proportionness, okay? That's always how we calculate proportion, image over original. Now, did our image get bigger or smaller? Was our image bigger or smaller than the original? We have to change up the numbers. I'm just copying and pasting. Did our was our image bigger or smaller than my original? The original's red. It always is red. Originals are red. Images are blue. Okay. Does it make sense then that their proportion is half? If my image got smaller, does it make sense that it's half? Yes. If my image gets bigger, then I should expect a whole number. Okay, what is the left side that's blue? How much is on the left blue? This is why we do our numbers for images in blue and our numbers for the original in red. Okay, I'm gonna take out the seven for a moment. What's our left side for our original, our red? Okay, what can I simplify both levels by? Five. Does this answer simplify to the same one we just got? So they're similar figures, yay. Okay, so then now let's go back to our similar figures up above. Which set of situations multiplying only the X, multiplying only the Y, multiplying the X, Y by different, multiplying the X, Y by same. Which one of those situations is going to make us similar figures? Because we just make it something that's exactly the same, but bigger or smaller. Which one of our four situations? X only changed, Y only changed, X and Y changed by different numbers, X and Y changed by same number. Which one of those is gonna get us a similar figure? So if we only multiplied the X, did we keep the same the shape? If we only multiplied the X, did we keep the same shape? No, so that's not similar. If we only multiply Y, do we keep the same shape? No, so that's not similar. 
If we multiply X and Y by different numbers, do we keep the same shape? No, so that's not similar. So which one of our four situations is the only situation that will get us similar figures when we do what? Look at that, there's four mentioned there. We just talked about three of them. Which one of the situations says the shape stays the same? Which one of our situations says the shape stays the same? Multiplying the X and Y by the same number. Yes. So we're gonna put that in down here. but we're text boxing. On a graph, to have similar figures, you must multiply X coordinate and Y coordinate Spelling by the same number. Okay. That's our big thing. If we're on a graph, the only way we can stay a similar figure is X and Y have to change identically. And then we showed how we have corresponding parts that come up with the same fraction. We could do the same thing but I'm not a big fan of, this particular shape is kind of weird. It's kind of hard to do the similar figure thing to it. Cause I could go ahead and take this left side over the little left side. But when I wanted to go look at the, the diagonals and stuff, it just makes it too hard. So that's why we put the rectangle one in. Okay. So you are turn in on the cami. Turn in on the Google Classroom. Start your assignment in class. There's 13 minutes of class for you to get going on your assignment. And I am expecting that you're working on it during that time period. You are not.